Everyone is complaining about Ethereum gas fees and I can relate. The high gas fees are horrible, especially when you're transacting a small amount of Ethereum and the gas fees cost you more than the actual amount you're sending or more than the amount that you're transacting. But rather than focusing on the problem, we should focus on the solution. You see, no one is forcing you to use the Ethereum network and there are plenty of other smart contract blockchains out there that provide fast transactions with little to no fees. Today, we're gonna to talk about five blockchains that offer fast transactions, smart contracts, and little to no fees. Drop down in the comments below which of these you'd like me to make a full tutorial on, and I will make a video on that later. With that being said, let's get right into the video. The first smart contract alternative to Ethereum is Solana. And as you can see here, Ethereum is somewhere around 500 billion market cap. Solana has captured about 10% of that at around 59 billion. Looking more closely into Solana, you see the circulating supply is around 300 million tokens. And on their website, they tote that they're building something that will be the fastest growing ecosystem uh, that will scale and will be low cost forever with uh, one penny transactions. I can tell you from using Solana myself, there are very, very cheap transactions that occur very rapidly. So there are a lot of people building on Solana right now. Some popular games that have come out recently or are building on Solana recently are Star Atlas and Aurori. And I know many project developers are building their artwork or their NFTs on Solana themselves. Solanart.io is one of the websites where you can go to exchange NFTs and look for NFTs in the marketplace. Next up is Polkadot, just below Solana as far as their market cap is concerned at $44 billion. And if you drill into Polkadot, you'll see their total supply is around 1 billion tokens. And if you do some research on Polkadot, you'll find that they've made parachains and they've made some true interoperability for developers to go ahead and make flexibility with creating new chains or parachains that exist on a layer one network. So Polkadot is very innovative. It's very useful for new developers. And I think it's one to look out for for the future. As far as I know, it's still fairly early in Polkadot's ecosystem. So I don't believe that they have an NFT network or anything like that running yet, but definitely something to look out for. I think Polkadot will be a great project for the future. Next up is Avalanche coming in at number 13 in coins by market cap. If you drill into Avalanche a little bit more closely, this is a pretty new project that has gained a lot of steam and a lot of traction. And if you go to their website, you'll see that they tote blazingly fast, low cost and eco-friendly. I'm very excited about Avalanche project. If you scroll down and read about Avalanche a little bit more closely, you'll see that they have blazingly fast transactions here. Compared to Polkadot, they're actually supposed to be a faster transaction settlement. I'm curious how that relates to Solana, but you'll see it's quite a bit faster than some alternatives listed here. And developers can even code in Solidity language, which is the native language used for smart contracts on Ethereum. So this might pull some Ethereum developers over to Avalanche. And some digital collectibles are coming out, like Tops NFTs and some other NFTs are coming out. You'll see that they're developing an open explorer and they have a pretty exciting future. Coming in at rank 20 for market cap is Algorand. Algorand has around $11 billion market cap. If we look more closely at Algorand, you'll see the token price is $1.85. Here's Algorand's website where they talk about some of the future projects that are going to be built upon Algorand. If we look at some use cases for the future, you'll find that a lot of the use cases are built around financial products and institutions with DeFi. So you may not find the same NFT ecosystem built on Algorand because their focus is a little bit more on financial services and DeFi protocols built on the blockchain. And next up is Atom, which is ranked 22 in market cap for the crypto markets. As you can see here, the coin is around $37. They have around a 280 million in circulating supply. This is a pretty new project as far as I know. Cosmos or Atom, they want to be known as the internet of blockchains. And as you go down, you can see that they are offering a, about one penny transactions with a very fast settlement of around seven seconds. So I'm very excited to see what Atom will build for their smart contracts on their network. I believe it's pretty early for this project, so this is one to look out for. And last but not least is Phantom, coming in at 34 
with a market cap of around $6 billion. Phantom's current price is $2.68 with a total supply of around 3 billion tokens. You'll see from the Phantom website, they have a very DeFi focused platform. I know a lot of my DeFi friends are incredibly interested in this project. And they also claim that they are Ethereum compatible, which is a very interesting feature. This is a project I'm very excited about with regards to DeFi. So those are five smart contract blockchains as alternatives to Ethereum that offer fast transactions, smart contracts, and of course, low cost. Drop down in the comments below which of these is your favorite and I will make a full video tutorial later on. Thank you so much for tuning in to Alan Ryan. Please like the video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.